the Bank of Ghana is asking for more comprehensive and consistent data by stakeholders in the fintech space to aid in monitoring the progress of financial inclusion. This, according to the bank, is essential to help uh, measure gaps in inclusion and design appropriate evidence-based interventions. Speaking at a presentation and public engagement on the 2021 Ghana Findex report, Second Deputy Governor Elsia Duawaji said both supply and demand-side data are key to help achieve these objectives. From the institutions that we've licensed to provide financial services, they will let us know uh, on a granular basis how much of their services and products are serving who amongst the populace. And we believe this is a very important step forward that would guide not only our policy formulation but also our regulatory and supervisory activities. So I have no doubt at all that just as many such efforts going on in Ghana, um, there are a lot of interventions uh, towards financial inclusion, um, funded by all manner of development partners as well as government, and I, I have no doubt at all that there's a lot of data available in different parts of this country, in different institutions. All, all geared towards uh, understanding the financial inclusion space. But what I believe we need going forward um, is a unified data system, it's a unified data architecture that helps us all interested in the space understand, uh, first of all, connect our various databases uh, to the extent possible, um, and then also all then be able to obtain information that is relevant uh, to this course. Um, this would also be data that's available for financial service providers themselves to also understand the various dynamics and help them to design more appropriate uh, products and services going forward.